Jesus taught many people. Sometimes he taught known sinners, people who were known to lie, to cheat others out of money. The Pharisees criticized Jesus for this. They argued that as a teacher of the scriptures, that he shouldn't be associating himself with such sinful people. But Jesus responded with three parables. The first was about a shepherd with a lost sheep. When shepherds were done for the day, they were bringing their sheep back from grazing. They would make sure they were in an enclosure, they were in their pen, and they were safe. And then they would count them to make sure they were all there. And if even one was missing, out of a hundred sheep, if just one was missing, they would go back and look for it go back along the path to see if it got lost, got off track, fell into a ditch, got tangled up in thorns, to make sure that sheep got back to the fold. And the joy that a shepherd would have at finding their lost sheep, they would invite their friends and they would celebrate at just one sheep being found. In a second parable, Jesus talked about a woman Women did not typically work in Bible times, and definitely not enough to sustain much of a living. But, but that's what made every coin that they earned all the more important. And so when one woman had ten coins and missed one of them, she took a lamp, she searched under and over in all the darkest places, she swept the floors looking for her lost coin. And when she did, she was so overjoyed, she invited her friends to celebrate at finding even one coin. Now the third parable was about the prodigal son. There was a man who had two sons, one who was very diligent, he was working hard, doing everything his father wanted, and obeying his father in everything. But there was another one who was getting impatient and restless, and he wanted his inheritance immediately. And when his father gave it to him, he wasted it away in the city on leisures and pleasantries. But soon his money was gone, and he turned into a baiter. He was so desperate that he went to a pig farmer and begged to eat with the pigs so that he would have food. And then he realized even his father's servants had better food than this. And so he came back to his father, hoping to repent and just be hired on as a servant, not even be called a son anymore. But his father was waiting for him with outstretched arms. Happy at the return of his son, he was so overjoyed that he called all of his friends and neighbors. They took the biggest calf that he had and barbecued steaks for everyone so that they could celebrate the return of his lost son. These three parables talk of the joy that is felt when something that is lost is returned or is found again. This is the kind of joy that God and the angels rejoice over when even one sinner has faith in Christ, when even one sinner repents and turns to God. Even the most vile person you know could turn to God, could put their faith in Jesus for their sins as the payment for their sins and be received with such joy as a shepherd finding their sheep, a woman finding her last coin, or even a father finding his son again. This is the kind of joy that is felt when any of us come to God. Mm -hmm.